Hi, this is Chef Laura Pfeiffer with ABS and Taylor, and today we're going to discuss the C004 whipped cream machine and how to assemble it. Just so you know, there are two models of this whipped cream machine, the C004 and the C007. The only difference being that the C004 has a tank capacity of 2.5 liters and the C007 has a tank capacity of 6 to 9 liters. First, I'm going to show you the components of the C004 and then we're going to put the machine together. You have a tank, a cover, a tap, a tap piston, a tap pin, a labyrinth, sleeve, two knobs, a hose, air regulator, liquid regulator, pump cover, blade, rotor, and then a pump body. You also have a drip tray and a drip tray support. Also remember there are eight O-rings and I will point them out as we go along. To begin, put the tank into the machine. The tank will always face this way with this knob facing the back. Always make sure to put the tank in first because the other components line up above the tank. We'll start with the pump body. To begin, Take a little bit of Taylor Lube, and this is a food safe lube. There are two O-rings here. Just go ahead and, and slightly lube them. And then the rotor fits in like this. It just pops in. Then we have the blade. Now you'll notice on the blade, one side has a little indent, and this helps it slide in to the rotor. So this one always faces down, or you can remember that the U faces up. So then it just slides in. Then we have our third O-ring. So remember, two up here, and then the third one. Now we put on our pump cover. And you'll notice that there are two different size holes because there are two different size screws. And it fits in as such. Then we put the knobs onto the screws. From here, we'll go ahead and put on our liquid regulator. And you can always remember the liquid regulator goes where this small hook is. So first, we put in a screw. And then we've come to our fourth O-ring. So we'll just put a little bit of lube on there too. And remember the lube is just going to help you sort of take everything apart and put it together. So that fits in oops, as such and then slide it. Now you'll notice there are numbers 1 through 9, 1 being the softest consistency and 9 being the thickest consistency. Go ahead and also put the tubing on there. At the top there's another hole and this is where the liquid regulator goes. Some of the newer models are plastic, this is a metal component, either one works the same. We have our fifth o-ring here so go ahead and just lube that up a little bit. And that just slides in as well. And you'll notice there's a little groove right here. It fits right where that is. Okay? Now slide the whole pump into the tank here. And you'll notice that this screw fits underneath this knob. Like so. Now we're going to move on to the sleeve and the labyrinth. So to begin, there are two O-rings. And remember, um, this side with the notch is always going to be facing the front. Now the two O-rings are unmarked, but one is actually smaller than the other one. The smaller one always goes up in the front, and the larger one goes in the back. Again, we're going to use a little bit of lube for both O-rings.
just lay it on like this. And remember this is the front, so I'm going to slide it in to the pump back here as such. The labyrinth does not have a front or a back, so it can just slide in. And always be careful with that part because it's pretty fragile. Now we're going to move on to the tap or the nozzle. Again, you have an O-ring, so a little bit of lube, and it fits right in here. Now, you'll notice on the tap piston that there's this groove in here, and this is where the pin is going to fit. So, and the, and the hole is going to be right in here, so slide the piston in, and then it's best to turn the whole tap vertically, slide the pin in, and you can see it already slid right in. And then just move it about. Always remember at the end of the night to move the piston all the way down so that no air can come up and then into the tank. And then this slides on. And the very last thing is going to be our drip tray. So you have a few more O-rings down here. Just sort of lube them up so that the drip tray support slides on easily. Such. Put your drip tray on and your cover, and then you're done. A few important things to remember, again, there are eight O-rings that always need to be lubricated. You should use Taylor Lube as it's a food safe lube. And you should always use a sanitizer. We recognize, we recommend Sterachine. Sterachine is really good for milk products because it breaks down the milk solids and removes any milk stone that might have been left in your machine. I hope this video was informative and helps you clean your C004. Remember proper maintenance and cleaning will prolong the life of your equipment. Enjoy your C004.